Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. NBA Live 14 has just dropped a blog. It is called The Science of Bounce Tech. If you don't get enough from this video, what I want you to do is go inside the description, click the link, go over to the blog, and read it up on your own. You may be able to get it more there. Now, what I'm going to tell you is NBA Live is actually trying to work on gameplay opposed to graphics. Now, the reason I say this is because they came out with something called Bounce Tech. Now the thing about Bounce Tech, everybody remembers what NBA Live 10 was, right? You know how that game played. Some people say it was a good game. Some people say it was a bad game. Some people compared it to 2K and just didn't even want to talk about it. But what they're trying to work on is they're trying to work on the dribbling aspect of a basketball game. Whereas though, we really haven't had much to talk about. Now with NBA Live 14 coming out on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, they're trying to work on the dribbling. Now in the first few clips, you saw something called ball warping. Now in this clip, you see something called ball suction. Now these are all major problems. Some people may call it minor, but these are major problems in basketball games or in any game because when you see the basketball dribble on the floor and you think okay I might have gotten that still off a of bounce pass or I may be able to you know take the cookies from a guy that's trying to do in and outs and stuff like that sometimes things don't happen because the ball is going to magically reach whatever destination it was intended for which means if a person is doing a crossover dribble sometimes the ball might just float to their other hand and you might swipe for it thinking hey i got it and then when you go into replay and are like yo i did touch the ball and you're like well why didn't i get the steal because sometimes there are botched animations that's because the player gets stuck in those animations and it's already predetermined what's going to happen so what nba live 14 is saying is they're going to give the player the total control which means if you're in a late in the game situation and you have somebody like Kyrie irving and you want to cross over in and out spin move all off of decision making you can do that but don't expect the ball to magically reach wherever you intend it to go if you make the wrong decision things may not go well but if you make the right decision you'll be at the rack going up for the layup or the dunk for the and one foul and things will look pretty smooth you can go into the replay you can run it back you can say yo the way the ball was dribbling i, I thought I, I thought i was somebody nice out there but you know that that's enough of that man um this video is over like i said if i haven't explained it well enough go inside the description click the link and go over and read the blog but this is ikc signing out don't forget follow me on twitter if you guys have any questions about anything anything just hit me up i'm out of here y'all peace